the Ravens had an epic. This I I want to see the 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 ratings for this Monday night preseason game. This had to be one of the most viewed games I would imagine. It's pretty entertaining. It was entertaining. It was actually entertaining all the way through. It was one of the best preseason games I've ever seen. See, there you go. There you go. And and I think that's something that the NFL really wants. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, listen, the Ravens put their 24-win game streak on the line. That was the big headline. Oh, salute, Marco G. I'm going to read that in a second. Give me one second. Um, and and uh, Hendo tipped as well. Uh, I'm going to get to those uh, in one minute. But there, oh yeah, there you go. There you go. I see you, Hendo. But they put their 24 win game streak on the line against the Washington Commanders. All right. And the commanders let let them know from the jump, we're trying to win this. They had their starters out there the whole first half. Now, this is this is the second game, usually the third game, you know, when it was four games, that used to be the the dress rehearsal game but now the second game is is considered the dress rehearsal game so yeah. it could just be that you know you see a lot of teams just that's a, that, that, that was my favorite uh narrative from the evening uh ravens fans thinking that was about them as opposed to washington just getting their players ready to start the season that you know that like all the other teams are doing besides baltimore well you know listen terry mclaurin played until the third quarter i believe Right? No, they all came out and have at halftime. He he didn't even get to halftime. He got hurt. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. They, I they all they came out and at halftime. They they just played, you know, the starters played the first half. Yeah. Uh, which um, is pretty common. Yeah. In the preseason. Yeah. 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 And, and it's and yeah, but you know, look, the way they're playing, they're playing hard. But again, yeah. um, even if they're <laughs> listen, man, even if there's no win streak on the line, that was gonna be a a, a game that both sides played hard. Um, it is the battle of the beltway. Okay. Baltimore and DC, they always put a little extra oomph on it. Okay. Uh, if you've been following practice this past week, it got very chippy. So you knew this game was going to be like that already. So they didn't need a win streak on the line for it to be, you know, be competitive. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm cool with that, but you know, we lost the game, right? Lost by field goal. Joey Sly running around, giving L's. Which I mean, the, <laughs> the, the most shocking thing. Uh, I'm very, I'm very familiar with Joey Sly's game, and, you know, him having been the former Panthers kicker, and I was shocked that that kick went through. Yeah, we were a little surprised by that. My man, my man has a he has a huge leg, but he does not often know where that ball is going. Well, in preseason, there's no pressure, I and mean, there's no yeah. pressure, man. You can see clearly, and <laughs> um, man, but look, they really celebrated like they won something. Okay, they sure did, and. Um, you know, Ravens fans are like look at these guys celebrating like they did something. Look at that. That doesn't mean anything. And Washington fans are like, Yeah, it means something. Don't act like it doesn't mean anything. You guys were talking about the streak, you know. Um, so I'm gonna ask you guys, did that mean anything to you? Does preseason in general mean anything to you? Because I have some thoughts on that. Um, B, what what were your thoughts on on that? I want to I want to give my thoughts on something else really quick before I before I jump into that. And my man Jay, you have got to post the question before the start of the show. I don't <laughs> understand. I don't understand what is going on, bro. It's almost like, intentional I'm at this looking, point. I know. I'm looking at the email. And I'm like, oh, there's a comment. Oh, it's Jay. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you posting the questions, but you got to get them in before this before the show starts. Uh, so in terms of the preseason, it matters. Uh, the wins and losses don't matter. You know, that streak didn't matter. But it absolutely matters for getting your guys ready for the season uh, and, and figuring out who the bottom of the roster is going to be, right? Uh, so, you know, you said, like, those guys were, were out there celebrating really hard, and, and they should have. You know, that's those are guys who may not may not make the team, may not ever play in the NFL again, and they had a you know, to snap the streak. It was on prime time. It was Monday night football. It was, like, it was a big deal for them. And, you know, there's no problem with them celebrating. Um, you know, you, you do want to see, like, if it didn't matter, I, I and I know I don't want to hear from Ravens fans that it doesn't matter with the talk of, of Vokalek and how he might be, he might be taking Charlie Kohler's spot and, oh, my God, he's so good. You wouldn't know that if it weren't for preseason, yeah. right? You have to see the guys get out there and compete in real games against other teams and see how they respond. Uh, so it matters for that. The wins and losses do not matter because you know you're not even you're not playing 
uh, I, even when your starters do play, Washington starters, they played the first half and then they're not playing anymore, right? It's like two or three different teams playing throughout the course of that one game. So it doesn't matter who 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 wins at the end, uh, but it absolutely matters for the individual performances. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm with you, Bean. Like, record-wise, it doesn't matter. Like, it's you. It's a nice, fun fact to have, right? Yeah, yeah. 24 wins, even though it's preseason, it doesn't mean anything. All right, you know, you, you know your guys are playing hard. You're playing to win, right? And it doesn't mean a whole lot. It means a tiny bit. It means a tiny bit more when you're playing Washington, mm-hmm. right? So that's where I'm with Washington fans, where they're like, don't act like it doesn't matter, right? But Washington fans, don't fall for the trap. Don't fall for the trap. Hold on. I'm going to tell you what the trap is in a second. I'm going to read this from Bazell. Appreciate you, Bazell, for the donation says, some commies didn't realize we didn't play starters. Um, that's true. That that's what that's why I was impressed with that game is we had you know our our second and third strings out there playing uh playing their starters, right? And on offense, their starters don't suck, you know. So I was I was uh, impressed overall with what I saw. Not obviously it wasn't perfect, but overall I like what we saw. But again, it's preseason. Like it wasn't like they're out there, even the first the first team wasn't out there, you know, trying to light it up. Like they weren't they weren't running their, their best game plan. But you know, yeah. they're going out there getting some work in. So overall, I like the game. But listen, Washington fans, there's a bug in my face. Washington fans, don't fall for the trap. Do not do not fall for the trap. Okay. You're 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 accurate when you say that Ravens fans did care about that because i don't listen even preseason i don't want to lose to the commanders me mikey uh otr kwan otr brandon we went to the game was it last year that was last mm-hmm. year when jk dobbins uh hurt himself yeah and even even in a preseason where we were just having fun we won the game and we were walking back to our car we were talking to another commanders fan i wanted to slap that boy <laughs> <laughs> They talk so much trash, but that's just that's just what it is, man. Like that's that's just what it is. Washington, you know, DC and in, in, in Baltimore, uh, you know, that's that's the rivalry around here. It's the battle of the beltway. It doesn't mean a whole lot, but you feel a little better when it's them. And when Washington gets to beat us, even in preseason, it feels a little bit better. But you can't go overboard with it because when you go overboard with it, like I see on Twitter. And you're trying to troll and you're talking all this trash, that's when you fall for the trap. That's when you took the bait. And that's when people can say, You won your Super Bowl, right? That's what they do the whole oh see, that's watch they win the Super Bowl. They care, they sure. they you know, they they care about a preseason game. Look at them, <laughs> right? You you can't do that. <laughs> you gotta poke a little fun. You gotta poke a little like, yeah. Didn't mean anything, but you know we did break a streak a little bit, right? You do do that little thing, but you do, you you just dove right in, <laughs> fell for it again. Now everybody's looking at you like same old Washington. <laughs> <laughs>